What's going on guys? So some time ago I made a couple of videos highlighting the effectiveness of using Google's Gcam software ported from the Pixels on phones like the LG V30. Those videos did really well, I think, in part because the difference in quality was incredible. You could take something like the V30 that had a pretty good camera, install this G-Cam software, and you were right there with the Pixels that had the best cameras on the market. It was really incredible what you could do. Since the V30, I've used a Pixel 2 XL, a Pixel 3, and now I'm using a OnePlus 7 Pro. And I really, really like this phone, and actually, the camera is pretty doggone good. The fact that this camera is actually really solid is why it's taken me so long to even bother installing a G-Cam mod on it. That said, I did do that today and I took some sample pictures and I'm actually shocked to some degree by the results. I'm going to put the link to this in the comments below, but evidently this is kind of a go-to OnePlus 7T. Uh, 7 Pro, 7T Pro, any OnePlus 7 phone. Apparently this is the one you want. So like I said, that's the URL up there, but I will put that in the comments below to make it nice and easy for you. If you want to try it yourself, so you can check that out, install it, do what you want to do, take some pictures. Everything works really well, with the exception to the fact that you're not going to be able to use your wide angle or your telephoto. Uh, you're just using the standard 48 megapixel sensor. Um, for me, that's kind of kind of sucky i mean I, I use the telephoto a decent amount um granted i mostly use the regular lens so it's not wouldn't have been the end of the world the the wide angle i almost never use because it's it's easily the weakest lens for me on the camera but like i said there's the link gcam primary sensor only that's what you're getting so without further ado Let's look at some photos and uh, we'll talk about them. So I just went around my backyard and took some pictures and this is what I've got. So first picture here, I'm not going to say what it is just yet. I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of talk about it first. So first picture here, it's pretty well balanced. Um, you know, detail is, is solid. It's a 48 megapixel camera. So, I mean, you, you kind of would expect to get pretty good, pretty good detail. Um, the color tone is pretty true to life, pretty accurate. Exposure is good. It's in shade, so it's not difficult to get this exposure correct. It's a decent photo. So the next photo is this guy here. The biggest thing immediately is the contrast. The contrast is like 10 times more than in the other photo. If I go back and forth... That is a much moodier, much more contrasty photo. As far as, uh, you know, detail retention goes, as this clears up, it's very, very similar. Um, it's, it's not a very noisy image at all. It's fairly... Processing is good. Um, but the biggest thing, though, is just that level of contrast. And it gives you the... Is it an illusion that it's retaining more detail or is it retaining more detail? I can't tell. I'll let you decide personally. Just to my eye. I like that picture better. That's a, that is a more interesting picture to me. And here's the cool thing. That is the photo from the stock default camera. And this is a trend you're going to notice of each uh, subject. First shot is Gcam, second cam is the OnePlus software. So you'll know that now going forward, and we'll continue talking about them. So here's the next subject. This is a little uh, apple tree I've planted in the backyard, coming along well. Um, again, this is a pretty decent picture. This is a little overexposed here, but I mean, we're asking a lot. This is in direct sunlight. Details good. You get a nice bokeh in the background naturally with a 48 megapixel sensor. Good looking picture as far as I'm concerned. This is the OnePlus picture. Same thing is happening here. This is a much darker, much more contrasty image. This one I could go either way. To me, this is the more accurate picture. This picture in this case 
is uh, really moody, really interesting. And I, I could go either way on which one I like better. And same same kind of deal here. I mean, the, the, the detail retention, I feel like let's, that's in really good sharp focus there. So let's look at that. And then let's bring it in here. Is it an illusion that it's getting more detail? Or is it really getting more detail? Boy, I don't know. Hard to say. Next. This is my dog. As you can see, my yard looks like complete crap. We're doing some uh, landscaping work at the moment, so ignore that. This is my boy Rutherford um, as the subject here. Good detail retention. Good exposure. Very accurate photo. On to the OnePlus image. Now this is interesting. This is a much warmer picture. It's brighter. The exposure is actually different as well. The totes over here are actually blown out in the OnePlus image. And they're retained pretty well here. So in this instance, exposure is better on the Google camera. But the OnePlus picture just pops more for me. It's more... The colors are more interesting. The contrast is much sharper. It looks like the more interesting picture. Even if... It just makes the Google camera look look dull. It makes it look flat. And it's not far off from, from true to life either. This might be the slightly more true to life photo. But this is like turned up just a little bit. And it's the more interesting photo. To me. I like to use grass as just a, a nice um, way to judge detail retention and, and, and tone the, of the color. And in this one, they're very similar in color. In this instance, the G-Cam looks warmer to me. But it is that contrast that makes this look like there's so much more, so much more detail. Even though... I'm quite sure that there's not more detail. But everything has a crisp edge with the OnePlus software. Here are our two rose bushes that need some post-winter love, if I'm being totally honest. Well exposed. Colors look good on the OnePlus camera. It's punchy. The colors are turned up a little bit. You be the judge. You tell me what you think looks better here. All right, going into the studio. This is kind of a dim photo. It's kind of testing how they would handle the lower light. So you're definitely getting some graininess here down in the darker areas. In this instance, the OnePlus is smoother. There's less noise, but it's darker as well. The G-Cam did a better job of brightening things up. So then I went to Night Sight or Nightscape. So this is, this is Night Sight. Brightened it up pretty well. Looks pretty decent it's there's a lot of noise there's a lot of noise down low and in this instance man does G does the OnePlus Nightscape do a better job than G cam it's not nearly as noisy is it hmm all right on everybody's favorite portrait mode this is using the front facing camera um, you're going to notice here that my hair is very difficult for these portrait modes to handle. And it does about as good a job as they all do. It's cutting on a lot of hair. Uh, not great. <laughs> not great. Uh, it's sharp. It's very sharp. Beard hair is all there. OnePlus does a lot of smoothing. Some beautification going on. It does about as well on the hair though, which is not good. So... I probably prefer the the, the G cam there on portrait mode. Flip it around to the front facing cam or to the rear facing primary camera, and the G cam looks quite good. It's very sharp. It's very detailed. Um, no one should ever get this close to my pores, my face. Again, isolating there. The cutouts leaves a lot to be desired as far as I'm concerned. But again, I'm asking for a lot given the hair. And one plus here. I it's 
obviously further out, right? That's a more pleasing image to my eye. It's a good, it strikes a good balance between smooth to little and not looking like you can stare deeply into the, my pores. So I, I actually like the OnePlus portrait there a little bit better. All right, so what do you guys think? I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked that in this instance, I'm not going to keep the Gcam on my phone. I don't really have a good reason to. Um, I am uh, I'm uninstalling right now and uh, don't need it. The Gcam is not as good to me as the OnePlus camera. So yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, do you, which image did you prefer? Are you using Gcam? Are you use, using the OnePlus software? Is the Gcam better on other phones? Is it still worth doing? I don't really know. I kind of lost touch of this stuff. So tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.